Hello, Ridian. Hello, hello. I'm the John from Edible. How are you? I'm well, thank you. How are you? Mm, very well, thank you. Good. Uh, how's how's the tour going? You just you you, you tour and hitch the latest album from the Joy jo from Edible. Mm. How's it how's it going so far? Mm, fantastic. We um we're very happy to be back out on the road. You know, there's been just a few spot dates really um uh, since the last album. So nice to be doing a full on tour again in the UK. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, absolutely having a great time. Cool. Uh, and is what? How how much have you done so far? Obviously, we're in Nottingham now at the rescue. Um, we've got about another week left. Mm -hmm. um, all in all, the tour's about two and a half weeks. Yeah. And and all the dates have gone well so far. Any? Mm. Yeah, they have. Um, as I say, it's been a little minute, you know. Um, and we um, we wanted to take a minute off the road. We've always toured a lot. Um, and we wrote a lot for this late uh, latest record. Um, so. It just took uh, a minute to kind of sift through it and uh, make sense of it all, you know? The album, uh, as I keep on saying, is still an important thing to us, so um, it's got to work as a cohesive body work. And when you've got so many songs, I mean, we wrote like 70, 80 songs, wow. you know, um, then it just uh, it takes, uh, just does take a minute to hmm. make sense out of it, you know? Um, so, so obviously, as I, as I said earlier, the um, the new album Hitch was released like a couple of months ago. I think it was March, was it? Um, yeah, yeah, just maybe just over a month, something like that. No, yeah. So, so and and it's and it's had decent reception, hasn't it? So, so what was it like? I mean, did, were you going in a different kind of direction with the album, where you wanted to just kind of go out for another route, and as you say, just to kind of tour more? Uh, what what was the intention in writing the album? We did you want to? Um, uh, it's hard to say what the in intention was. I mean, we're still passionate about music. We still love creating music and playing live, you know. Um, and uh, for us, it's definitely not about rehashing what you've done before. You know, we're growing as people and as artists. And I do feel like each album is kind of different, really. Um, and there's so much more to come as well, you know. There's so many songs left from this past uh, album recording session. So... Um, yeah, it's always an exciting thing for us, you know, uh, documenting where you're, where you're at at that stage in your life, you know. We're three different people than we were when we, when we started off and did the big roar and so forth. So, um, yeah, it's nothing more than just writing stuff that turns you on at that point in your life, you know, and who yeah, knows yeah. what the next record will be, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and so you've been going for like nearly 10 years now as as mm. the band you know as the yeah i think about eight years yeah 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 mm. so um what i mean I, I, what 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 did you set out to do then was it just like a band just to do a, a few bits and bobs just to kind of record together do a few kind of shows did you because you play glastonbury didn't you you know you've mm. done you've mm. got all this kind of stuff you've got in the charts and whatever mm -hmm. did you ever for one second think that maybe you'd know we'd get all those things um well, the key thing is is that you you're passionate about what you're doing. You mm. know, like um, for us, I suppose success is measured by um, uh, sticking to your guns, not compromising on the music that you want to make. And if you're able to make uh, a living out of that, sustain yourself. You know, which is difficult, I think, these days, especially for guitar bands. Then um, that's the main goal, really, for us. You know, we're certainly not bothered about chasing any fame game or mm. looking for validation from anybody else we just like we love the um uh, and are dedicated to you know um what's going to come out from us creatively and if that connects with people great you know like uh, the live show is uh, of equal importance to us and uh, i feel like you know such an important thing where um that's where the real truth lies you know i i, I love watching artists that uh that put everything into it live, a great live band, a great live singer-songwriter, whatever, you know. Um, so those are the key things, really, yeah, to, yeah. to always be proud of what you've written, that you can mm -hmm. really stand by it, because at the end of the day, right, you know, uh, 20, 30, 40 years on or whatever, you're the one looking back and say, can I st still stand by what I've written? Because, um, you know, I'm certainly not bothered about chasing any charts or anything mm -hmm. like that now. I mean, I don't, there's not... Um, frankly, most of the stuff that is popular it bores me, you know. Mm. Uh, I, I, um, I do uh, 
um, find myself going back and back more um, apart from stuff that's on you know on an underground scenes and alternative genuine alternative scenes and mm-hmm. um, there's yeah, some great stuff out there but um, you know the stuff that is popular there's of course there's always some great pop songs mm. well crafted songs but um yeah <laughs> yeah exactly yeah, yeah. you know there are people really good at doing that and um, mm. to the point of like it feels like almost like a machine and that's the thing for me i, I okay. want I, I want the i want the soul and i want um yeah. a whole album as well i want depth you know and yeah it it, it is out there but um i just wish uh, i keep on saying this as well i wish that the the underground scene and the and the kind of the you know popular culture was kind of talking a bit more and rubbing against each other a bit more so we're exposing uh, young people to different types of stuff mm-hmm. instead of like radio becoming you know uh, homogenized you know um i do worry a little bit about that but, so yeah. what what did you listen to as, a, as, a, as you know a kid and a teenager what inspired you know the, um, the music that you like to play and like to I listen suppose, to um, now? some 60s guitar music is what got me into music in the first place you know um hendrix zeppelin um beatles stones and all that kind of stuff you know it was some of my my parents um uh, record collections but for me that was just an opening to especially hendrix like wow Mm. that it took me to somewhere else you know and that was like just really powerful shit um and so I just got obsessed with him, and after that it was um, music as a whole, you know. I, I don't listen to one genre, I don't think, really, now. I see, for me, there's good and bad music in all genres, and that's my point, you know. Like, there's a whole spectrum, isn't there? And that's what um, people should be exposed to. Oh, is it a shame you're missing out, you know? Um, sometimes it is, like, a two-minute single, and the next minute it's a 15-minute jam from, you know... Floyd or whoever, yeah. you know, got to be got yeah. to hear it all, haven't you? So what's next for the for the Joy Formidable? What what do you think you'll be have you, have you, are you in the writing process for a new album yet? Or obviously you're still touring now, but what, mm, what, yeah. what's going on? Uh, for the moment it's um there's still quite a bit of touring to do um mm. around this record, but yeah, there's um, um we wanna follow up this record with another one pretty soon. So um at some point this year we'll get back in the studio. There's so many songs left over from those previous sessions yeah, yeah. but we'll probably add to that as well mm. and see where we're at at that point but um yeah for the moment just soaking up the shows around hitch you know mm. and, um this is um only like a week and a half into the uk tour i've done a stint in south america north america but as i say there's quite a lot more to come so fantastic mm. Mm. brilliant thank you very much okay no problem thank you